Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Some very interesting questions. Once again, I do appreciate all the questions that you ask me. Someone was asking questions in reference to sodium benzoate, which is a preservative used in several products and mentioned some of the products that we actually have have some benzoate in them. So I contacted our detail person in regard to this and mentioned that the benzoate is naturally occurring in the products that they have that preservative in. Also, that same individual went on and asked a question about the magnesium stearate that's what is in many products today. And I want you to know that I have a PDF that we could send to you. All you have to do is go to customercare at drugglessdoctor.com and we will be happy to send you that PDF because we could talk for several minutes on that subject alone. So I had a couple questions in reference to tongue colors, which I thought, and I really appreciate this because I have a Doctor of Natural Health degree, and one of my classes was in Chinese medicine, and the Chinese look at the color of a tongue and the consistency of a tongue. And I'm just going to give you a few little nuggets. The tongue normally should be a pink color. If it's a very vibrant red color, it may suggest a B vitamin need. A pale color would suggest possibly an anemic challenge going on in a person's body and a white tongue could suggest some lung issues. And I know that in an aberratic medicine class that I took, Alma is a thick pasty tongue, has to do with energy alteration in the body. I would encourage you to do a search on and, and type in tongue colors and I think that you'd be really surprised the different venues that you'll read about. There's so many on tongue colors alone and I think that it's just very exciting that you asked that question. Anxiety, how do you treat anxiety? Well, let me know from our experience, we use B vitamins, B as in Bravo. It just seems that individuals have anxiety, have a B vitamin need, and the B vitamins help calm the nerves down so you don't have these really raw, very sensitive nerves. And sometimes we will do more assessments. We might do some blood chemistries, checking out blood sugar levels because a lot of times when your blood sugar goes up and then goes down, when you're in that lower level, everybody's a little bit different. So you can have some blood sugar distress. And I know that someone went on and asked me some more questions about their thyroid gland and the anxiety and not feeling 100%. And I have talked about this in the past that we see individuals with depression challenges have subpar thyroid function and her health care provider suggested that the thyroid has nothing to do with some of her emotional states and the same individual talked about having ovarian cysts. So when I started evolving and reading about this um, individual who's now uh, over 60 years old, iodine or lack of could be a factor with cysts on the ovary. Iodine and or lack of could be subpar thyroid function. I know subpar thyroid function has a lot to do with one's emotions and depression and anxiety. Here's another question that's never really been asked before. It's panic disorder. Um, how can you help panic disorder? You know, I can tell you that people who maybe have paranoia, fear of impending doom, one of the tests that we do in our office is that we will complete an acoustic cardiogram, which is an electronic stethoscope of the heart. And we use other different sheets and forms and questionnaires to find out B vitamin needs. So the acoustic cardiogram tells us a B vitamin need, but a part of the products that we use in our practice is a product called 3BG, which happens to be thiamine and, and B vitamins along that family. And the other one is 3GB, which happens to be more of the fat soluble type of B vitamins like riboflavin and choline. So I know consistently we see individuals who have panic disorders, anxiety attacks, fear of impending doom, paranoia, B vitamins is what we always look at. Once again, wonderful questions, and I know that they'll make a difference in your life. Please like us on Facebook, pass this information on. We're here to make a difference in your lives.